Hi guys, it's me, Vicki, Amputee Me. Before I get started today, can you go ahead and hit that like and share button on the bottom? It would greatly help my channel grow. Okay, if you haven't been following me on any of my videos, I am an above knee amputee after having my leg amputated twice. Today I'm going to show you some exercise videos that I personally do at home to help strengthen my leg for wearing a prosthetic leg. Um, but first, I would like to thank you all greatly. You don't know how much it has meant to my heart. For all the donations that have come in via Craigslist, through the mailing cards, and handed to me in person, I was able to pay half up front for my new socket to be made, and they're going to start working on that tomorrow when I go to pro the, see the processes. Um, okay. Today we're going to do some simple exercises you too can do at home to help strengthen yourself for um, a new prosthetic leg or even the prosthetic leg you have now to help you out with it. The first one, just going to show only part of my body here, is I do standing up. You can do it holding on to um, a walker, holding on to the wall. I was going to do it down the hallway in front of the mirror but then my back was blocking the camera and I couldn't adjust the camera enough to get me all in there so first of all we're going to do each one of these you're going to do three sets of ten going to extend your leg all the way to the side as high as you can go one two three four Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And you're going to want to do three sets of ten. Take a break and then do ten more. The next exercise, you're going to bring your leg up as high as you can to the front of you. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And last of all, like I said, you can grab anything you want for balance. I'm using, I'm leaning against the back of the day bed here. You're going to straighten your back and push your leg as high as you can backwards. And keep your back straightened. One, two, three. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now I would try doing it with the other leg, but then again I'd be falling on the floor. Alright. The next you want to be laying on your stomach and thrust your pelvis into the bed or the floor, if you're on the floor, as hard as you can and hold it for a count of five. You do three sets of ten of these. One, two, three, four, five. Alright, we're going to take an exercise band. I don't know the resistant level on this one, it's just a red one. Um, it says heavy. And we're going to place it as high as you can, up on both legs. This may tend to slip off, it does all the time. And you're going to lay on your back. And then you're going to pull your legs apart, hold them for a count of three, one, two, three, and then back. One, two, three, two, three, four, 
three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You also do three sets of ten with that. Take a break, go on to the next one. Then here's one right here. It's my ugly green ball. You put it between your legs and you squeeze it as hard as you can for a count of five. One, two, three, four, five. One, one, two, three, four, five. Two, one, two, three, four, five, three. One, two, three, four, five, four. One, two, three, four, five, five. The next exercise, I'm not really fond of this one. I'm using a foam roller. You can use a rolled up towel, a pillow, a rolled up blanket. Laying flat on your back, you put it as high as you can underneath both legs and then let you lift your pelvis upward. And this, all these are to help build up your pelvic muscles, your hip muscles, your upper thigh muscles. It'll make controlling a prosthetic leg a little bit easier and a lot easier actually for you. So this, you're going to want to push your pelvic upward and hold it for a count of three. One, two, three. And do this ten times. Two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now those are the exercises I do on a daily basis along with just laying on my stomach for 20 minutes at a time making sure to push my pelvic area downward to help strengthen those muscles. I do want to say thank you again for all the donations that you have all made, um, both in person through the mail and through my GoFundMe page. The GoFundMe link is still going to stay up there because I, I'm still going to need to pay for the other half of that prosthetic socket, um, but at least I was able to put half down and they would start on it. Um, don't forget to go ahead and like and subscribe. It will help my video grow, my channel grow. And I guess that's it for today. Thank you very much. See you next time.